this room is kind of a culmination of four years of research that we've been doing um, as part of this Digital Energy Futures research project. And the way we've set it up is like it's a home, right? So instead of it being kind of the shiny uh, industry visions of the future, it's the real life, right? So we have some lived in furniture, we have the kind of messy garage, and we have some of these elements of real life because that's what our research is really focused on. It's focused on everyday people and their real lives and how energy is part of that and also how they see their energy evolving into the future. So the first thing you get when you walk into the room is a bit of a hallway. Um, and in that hallway, we have a, some pictures that were the comic strips that we created as part of the first stage of our research. So the first thing we did was try to get a base understanding of what current industry visions are for the future. Um, and I did, we did a, re a review of all these different industry reports, um, analyzed those reports, and kind of synthesized them into these comic strips that showed what the industry was expecting future home life to be. So next we come into stage two, which is where we, did the, we represent the research that we did with households. So we did in-depth research with uh, 72 different households in Victoria and New South Wales, um, getting to understand their everyday lives, their kind of priorities, their values and their routines, and how energy was implicated in that. So that stage we have a, a documentary which we created there and that's showing there on the living room. Um, and we also have some iPads on the side that have uh, our video archive on them and they have clips of the research that we did with households. So the next stage is um, some of the findings from the um, Energy Consumers Australia's various surveys, the sentiment survey and the behavior survey. Um, and we, some of our research from the digital energy futures informs some of the questions that we asked households as part of that survey. So that, that section there is showing some of the results of that. And they're also sort of around the room in different areas, some of the findings from the survey. Number four is uh, some of the findings from our um, workshops that we did with households. So we did um, 10 different future-focused workshops with households to uh, think a little bit more of those insights we've got from the qualitative research with the households, but help them think a bit more about the future. Um, and as part of that, we developed these foresighting concepts that are a sort of twist on industry concepts and what we see is actually a bit more accurate. So for example, instead of industry visions that assume a set and forget future for automation, we have a set and notify, um, which is what people really were more interested in for their automation. So one of the things that we had done is to illustrate some of those concepts. So we have the visuals there of those illustrations to sort of bring those to life. So the last stage is the final report, um, and that report has the scenarios for the future. So we're using all of those stages of the research, um, all those four years of work and all of that household research to inform and develop um, scenarios for um, energy forecasting and energy planning. Uh, and the real key focus of those scenarios is to understand also how they play out across um, different peoples and different households and different lives. So we actually have three different um, kind of households that we follow throughout those different scenarios, two in 2030 and two in 2050. Um, and we can see how those scenarios have different implications based on you know, what type of household it is, whether they're a renter, whether they're high income, low income, um, for example.